This integral should be crazy enough. At this by the look, we have the integral of e to the x times sin x times cos x. We have done a similar integral in the past, but it was just the integral of e to the x times sin x. There was no cos x. And to do this integral right here, we could just use the integration by parts. And right here, if you want to use integration by parts as how it is, with e to the x, sin x, and cos x, you can still do it, but it will be too long. So let's look at this and try to think about a way to shorten the inside, if that's possible. And let's look at this, sin x times cos x. Do we have an identity that involves sin x times cos x? Yes, the one that we can use is this one. We know sine of 2x, and that's the double angle formula for sine. This is the same as 2 times sine x times cos x. And you see, we have this right here. However, I don't want to have the 2, but it's okay. We can just multiply both sides by 1 half. And then we can get sine x times cos x to be the same as 1 half times sine of 2x. And then we can just replace this with sine x times cos x. And you see, in that case, we don't need to deal with the cosine factor anymore. So that's really good, right? All right, this is the same as the integral of e to the x. And then for the sine x times cos x, I'm going to put this down. And let me write down the 1 half. In the front of the integral, we can always pull out the constant multiple to be in the front, right? And then the function part right here, the sine of 2x has two states inside, and then we have that dx. Very nice, huh? Thank you so much, the double angle formula for the sine. And now, we have to focus on this integral here, the integral of e to the x times sine of 2x. And to do this, I'm going to do it separately, and then we have to use integration by parts. And let me write it down here for you guys. Let me write it down, the integral of e to the x times sine of 2x. And to do integration by parts, of course, I will do it with the di method for you guys. So let's put it on the side. We have the d and the i. And don't forget to set out the plus, minus, plus, minus on the side. The sign has to alternate. And three rows will be enough. In this case here, it doesn't matter what we pick to be integrated. Okay? And let me just pick sine of 2x to be integrated. And then I will differentiate e to the x. Let's focus on integrating sine of 2x. The integral of sine is negative cosine. So let's write down negative cosine. And the input is just 2x, so it stays the same for now. But then the derivative of 2x is 2. When we do integral, we have to divide it by the constant 2, right? So it's the same as multiplying by 1 half. And let's do it again. We are going to integrate cosine. The integral of cosine is positive sine. So this right here will stay sine. And then the input, the 2x, stays the same as well. And since the integral of cosine is positive sine, this sine right here stays the same. So we maintain that. And then we still have to divide it by 2 again. So 1 half times 1 half, it will be 1 over 4 here, huh? And we are done. And of course, we can differentiate e to the x real quick e to the x. And now you see, this is the third step because we see that e to the x times sine of 2x, the function part repeats. And now we can construct the answer from here. Keep in mind, when we multiply diagonally, we get the part of the answer already. So first, we get positive e to the x times negative 1 half cosine of 2x. Let me put this down right here. And this is the first part of the answer. We have negative 1 half times e to the x. And then let me put down the cosine of 2x right here. And then the second part of the answer, we do this times that diagonally. And don't forget to account for this sign right here as well. Negative times negative, we add. And then let me put down 1 over 4 first. And then e to the x. And then the sine of 2x. At the very end, Keep in mind, the product of each row is, is still an integral. So for this row here, when we multiply e to the x times that, it is an integral. Positive times negative, we have a negative integral. So we minus 
an integral of e to the x, and let me put down the 1 over 4 in the front, and we have the sine of 2x right here. And of course, we still have that dx. Okay, now you see this, and that part repeats, right? What can we do? I'm just going to add 1 over 4 of this integral on both sides, and we can combine terms, and then that's the deal. And I'm going to erase this because I'm going to run out space. So we don't need a di table anymore. This is enough. And now let me just add 1 over 4 integral of e to the x times sine of 2x dx on both sides. And you see this and that will cancel out. And let me add it right here as well. Plus 1 over 4 integral e to the x sine of 2x dx. All right, this is 1. 1 plus 1 over 4 is what? It will give us 5 over 4. Okay, so remember this is like saying 1 times this integral plus 1 over 4. We kill 5 over 4. So the integral stays the same. Of course, e to the x times sine of 2x dx. And then we have the function right here. This is the answer. This is negative 1 half e to the x cosine of 2x. And then we add it with 1 over 4 e to the x sine of 2x. And the purpose of this right here is to isolate the integral e to the x sine of 2x. So I don't want to have the 5 over 4. Let's look at this equation here and multiply everything by 4 over 5. 4 over 5 here. And then let's multiply this by 4 over 5. And then let's multiply this by 4 over 5. So this and that will cancel, and you see this is the integral of e to the x times sine of 2x, and this is exactly what we have to put it down right here, okay? And let's just work this out real quick. This is negative 4 over 5 times 1 over 2. Of course, we can reduce. This will be 2 on the top over 5, right? This 2 and that will reduce each other out. So 2 over 5, and then we have the e to the x cosine of 2x, and then we add it with 4 over 5 times 1 over 4. The 4 cancel out, so we have 1 over 5, and then this e to the x times sine of 2x. And then we are done for this integral. We put this right here, okay? So at the end, this is saying we have the 1 half in the front, and then let me open the parentheses. I will put this right here in the parentheses. We have negative 2 over 5, okay? And then the e to the x sin, uh, cosine of 2x, and then plus 1 over 5 e to the x sine of 2x. And what's the last part of what to do? <laughs> of course, we distribute the 1 over 2. Multiply this here, multiply here. So, just do this, right? 1 over 2 times that, we get negative 1 over 5. And keep in mind, we are multiplying, right? And then we have the 1, whoop, don't forget this times that is that. And of course, we have to write this down. e to the x cosine of 2x. And then we multiply 1 half with that, which is 1 over 10, and it's positive. And we have this, e to the x times sine of 2x. Don't you feel so accomplished? At the end, don't forget to put a plus C. And this is the answer that deserves the box. Okay, this right here is it.